Pickoff play is on at second base, and Utley is out at second base. They dropped the, drop the ball. ball, never mind. The ball is still sitting in the baseline. They called him out, but he dropped the ball. There must be some reason why, according to Fielding Colbert, that they didn't call him safe. They called him out. Pete McCannon is coming up the stairs. He's asked the umpires to hold the defense. He didn't do it intention. Oh, right there. So I guess right there they're saying that Utley, because his foot got caught in the glove, that's what jarred it loose right there. So Pete McCannon is, uh, has asked them to take a look at it. Fielding Colberth realized the ball was loose. But as Chase's spike got caught in the glove, he was trying to shake his foot loose, and in doing so, knocked the ball loose. So this play is under review. So the folks in New York will take a look at it. He's out by a mile. As you can see here, right there, Segura has it. Chase is out. His foot gets caught in the glove, and right there, the ball's coming out. It was on Chase's foot for a little while. I'm just trying to figure out. Well, I have to admit, I don't know what the rule is on something like that. Right. It's unintentional what Chase did. If it's intentional, then a lot of times there's an issue. But it was unintentional what Chase did. He was tagged out. There's no question about that. But the ball was not taken out of the glove by Segura's hand, his throwing hand. It was knocked out by Chase's glove. Right there, he's already called out. Segura leaning back on the rail, and he'll just wait as New York reviews it. The only thing I'm, it is when he steps on the glove, is yeah. the ball bobbling and moving well, around inside the glove? That's the, the part glove. that I don't know. So does it, have control? It is unintentional. Right. If it's intentional, then they'll usually side with the fielder. You cannot intentionally do it. Take a little look right here. I mean, they had him. Daylight play. He was he was dead to rights. See right there, the ball's in the glove. It's firm. He steps on the glove. I think he's going to be called out here. The ball now is on the foot of Chase Utley. Safe. Safe. So again, I don't. I obviously don't know the rule in that situation. So there's a rule. And we'll try to get to it. Craig Council's coming out. He wants an explanation from the second base umpire. He's not allowed to argue it, obviously, and he's being cut off by Manny Gonzalez. And Fielding Colbert will give him an explanation. Now, this is Colbert made the call, and it was up to New York to change it. You know, it, it, you know what's funny about the re, the view, uh, the review, or the replay. Sorry, is that. Why do you go out and argue with the umpires on the field mm -hmm. when they didn't overturn the call? Correct. That's and that's what that's why Phil and Colbert does not have to give him an explanation. Right. But he, that he's doing this. There can't be an argument because the argument would have to be with New York. But there has to be a rule. So we can't, no, talk, can't about talk about it. Can't talk about it. Well, you're up there. You might as well get your money's worth. He's going to get thrown out of the ball game if he keeps it up. Well, he shouldn't. He's already had about three or four times. I can't talk <laughs> about it. But you're out there. And he's just been thrown out of the ball game. They're, by rule, they're not allowed to go out and question the call once New York changes the call. I mean, this is not Fielding Colbert. He made the call. He set out. Right. He, he doesn't. It's not him who overruled the call. Right. Well, Chase is very fortunate because he was. <laughs> there was some daylight there. The only thing I'm seeing, Tom, is that when he steps on the ball, you know, it, 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 Chase steps right in the glove. He's moving his foot because his spike is caught into the glove. Right. 
I mean, that's that's all what we're right. we're assuming right there.